implore you all, and I'm gonna keep it real again. Let me just keep it real. Too often I see people in my diary who are saying, I'm struggling because of this, I'm struggling because of that. If you have content, put it in a book. If you have content, go to Eric and say, how do I sell it? If you have content, go to Dr. Marcia, find somebody because there is somebody who can package your content for you and help you with the hustle. You can package your content and use the money just to go on holiday. You know, when I started out, I used to say, okay, my J-O-B, my just over broke, J-O-B, just over broke, was only help helping me to pay the bills. But I wanted to go on holiday. I love to travel, you all. Got a British passport. I love to jump on a plane. And so I started using my, my book, which was my hostel, to take my children on holiday. Took them to Antigua, took them to France. Yeah. And so now I plan big projects. I just opened a shop, a physical business out of my school. So please guys, let us cross hands across the continent, across the diaspora. Um, Obi and I have a good partnership. Eni and I have a fantastic partnership. Let us cross hands. I'm open to good partnerships, just let you know. I'm open to good partnerships, but let us cross hands across the continent. And by the way, I've been to Africa, you all. I'm just about to make an order from a chemist in South Africa. I've been to Africa, love it, love it, love it. Let's cross hands across the continent. Do good partnership, share our stories and leave our mark. If not now, then when? If not us, then who? As my famous coach would say, Eric Thomas. Now, when I was in Poland speaking on stage, I had never spoken with an interpreter before. However, because it is my story, it is unique to me. The interpreter was able to understand and then translate to somebody else. So when you tell your story, there are persons there who will pick up pieces of it that they know, feel, touch, and are inspired by, and they will be like ants. They will carry it over the world for you. So as Africans, and I consider myself an African woman, as an African woman who's got British Jamaican heritage as my second heritage, because I'm African first, I want to encourage everybody here this morning to understand that your story can change your life. And I'm going to speak about it from a monetary perspective because sometimes we fluff it. And for those who know me, you know I keep it real. Everything you see me do right now it's because I sold my story, The Mango Girl. I'm unapologetic about it because my story has made room for me. I built a house out of it. I sent my children to school out of it. I buy my car out of it. I don't have any debt to you all. I don't own a credit card and I must be weird. I don't own a credit card and I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I don't have a car payment. I'm not old. And I'm a single woman slaying my stuff, doing my thing in the world because I told my story. I have some great partnerships because of my story. Now, hear me when I say this to you. If you have a story to tell, you need to find those who can help you tell it. If you have a story to sell, you need to find those who can sell it for you. If you have a story and you're not confident about getting it out of your gut, then find those who are able. Because here's the thing, sometimes being articulate is not everybody's gift. We all come to the world with different gifts and talents. And when we understand where our strength lies and we maximize that and we're able to hone that, the world becomes your oyster. This girl who's talking to you right now, was just asked, let me say there's a Jamaican in the room apart from Marcia. Marcia says, I'm not gonna say. This girl who is the girl who did not speak English, who spoke my local vernacular for many years. I failed English in high school and I started feeling bad. Like the reason I failed was because I didn't speak English. And now I can speak Patois because I'm not play with because we get really mad at me, go mad at me, just making a feel like say, exactly. I can speak my local vernacular. But because I told my story, people now come to me to write speeches. I get paid to write speeches. I get paid to write content. 
I publish books, I train, I coach. There's never a day in my life for the last seven years that I don't have work to do. I don't beg, I don't borrow. I use my story sensibly. I give, I mentor young girls for free. I give back. I work in politics because that's me giving back. But there are so many stories that you overthink. You don't understand that, you know, there's an audience for everything. I was thinking about my mom this week and I was saying to somebody, a guy who likes me and he and I were having a conversation. And I was saying to him, I'm so much like my mom. I didn't realize my mom was telling me a story by just been hard working and giving and caring. I could write a story about that. The things that we have in our gut that we think is nothing, there is a story there, there's a book there, there's content there. Let me say content. If somebody asks you three times, Ava, how do you do this? There is time to write a book, a how-to, or there's time to tell a story, or there's time to write content. I want you to hear this. If you hear nothing else I say, if people keep asking you the same thing three times, then it's time to look at writing. I'm gonna end by saying, Dr. Marcia, you'd have seen in our group, we're, 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 we're launching an anthology and the reason I'm sharing this, I just got the swags for us and an anthology. We're sharing the story of how we, we learn stuff in COVID. We are sharing it from a positive side. We're doing an anthology, how, to, how resilient we were through COVID. What are the lessons we learned? Something as simple as that. But there's an audience out there who wants to read that. So I'm going to implore all of you. And Dr. Marcy, I jumped in to explain in my own understanding what you meant when you went. So I was holding the sister's space about the higher the monkey climb, the more I'm exposed. That is our local vernacular. Okay, it's patois. We love it. 